Hey you guys, good morning. All right, today I was gonna work with you guys on making Valentine banners or the kind of like garland-like things out of fabric. Now, these ones are gonna be like super uh, flexible. So really what I wanted to do was teach you guys just a couple of basics of what I did. Um, and you guys will be able to do so many different things with this, you know, like do Easter, Christmas, anything you want. This is like super flexible. So just teaching a couple of really, really basic things that you're able to do to make something pretty and show you that it can be really affordable, okay? All right, so first what we're gonna start off with, oh, if you're having trouble seeing, make sure to swipe the comments to the right so then you're able to see a bit more what we're doing all right and so um that like i said there's lots of different ways to do this so i'm going to tell you a couple of the inexpensive ways that i did um so i have i made one as the base starting with just basic string and so this is just once more super basic get it at the dollar store and there's tons of it and that's what i used for this longer one here and so you're able to customize it as long as you want so that's really nice um and it does have like a little bit more of a rustic feel to it it because of the string there's also like that um that brown i think people call it twine more but the brown string that's like about the same width as that and that would be fun too for something rustic now the other one that i did that i thought was really fun was shoelaces from the dollar store okay so i believe the pack is a pack of 12 and it comes with i think how many it was like six sets of white ones and two sets of black ones okay and so it leaves you with a ton of laces. So that's what I used for this upper one and it does give a little bit nicer finish and it will make like, if you're doing multiples of them, it will give you an um, easier way for measurement. You know, it's nice and simple. They're all gonna be the same size and you can use those. So that's what I used for the upper one. So like I said, very customized. You can use, you know, practically anything, but these were inexpensive ideas that I had. Um, I also used the shoelaces for some of the the banner on this one which I thought was kind of fun definitely a bit unique where I just try, tied you know a very loose bow in there and that worked I thought it was really cute and my kids loved it all right so what we're gonna do as an example is I'm gonna go ahead and use the laces and once more it's just gonna be a really basic example so I'm just gonna set them aside and show you what I did for my basic hearts here okay so they have packs of wooden hearts and there's I think six of them there's five in each one and they had like three different kinds like there's there's this one that's plain this one with you know the arrow going through it and then they had another one that I think said happy valentine's day on it all right so what I did for these ones to kind of give them like a little bit of splash of color was I just got some some of the Mod Podge and they have that at the dollar store too so it can be super affordable and then um, they had these sets of sparkles. All right, so I'm definitely gonna make a bit of a mess here. And so the other two colors that they had was um, the red and the darker pink. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this lighter pink and just be careful. I actually accidentally opened um, the first one. Like I ripped the sparkles open right here on it while I was pulling it off. So just make sure you, you be careful because it can definitely happen. All right, so here we go. I'm just gonna grab my scissors and snip the end a little bit. All right, so I'm just cutting off just that little bit so then I can be able to do those sparkles. So we're just kind of like gonna dash them out. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Mod Podge. You can probably do um, some glue or something too would probably work just fine to get these sparkles on. So I'm just gonna coat the whole thing. All right. And this, this was really fun that it added that, you know, the sparkle to the whole thing, which, you know, most of us like. All right, just covering that all up, make sure I get all of the sides so anywhere those sparkles decide to hit will be good. And it doesn't have to be very thick or anything, you just need to make sure it's all covered. All right, I'm just gonna tuck that brush to the side. All right, so that's what I got, it's all covered. Hope you guys can see, yep. All right, and we're just gonna dash it. So that's what's kind of giving that effect is I'm just gonna kind of do a quick dash on it. Okay, so just dash kind of close to it. Oh, this one kind of came out in lines. There we go. All right, so, and I kind of liked better when most of the, the upper part is covered just because it gives you more of that heart shape. I'm just gonna get off those extra sparkles. So that's what we got out of that. 
So super simple, not sure if the lighting is making that wonky, but you know, it gives it just a little bit more dimension. All right, so I'm just gonna set that to the side to dry, gather up my sparkles and set that aside too, okay? All right, so that's another one of the things that you can do to be able to add on to your garland like I did. And they do come with strings. And so, um, actually, we'll let that dry while I do another example and then we'll come back to it. All right, so back to our shoelace and doing fabric, okay? So these we, I got at the dollar store, I think, let's see if it has any description. It's 20, 20 inches by 21. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open that up. And this is one of the things that I liked that made it really easy, especially for this one where I did the, the two different colors, the, the white and the black were both these kind of fabrics. Okay, from the dollar store. We're just gonna let that open up so it goes into a square. Go ahead and open it and wait there, okay? So what we're gonna do is go ahead and cut, cut it while it's still folded. It just makes it that much easier that you're not doing a full line. All right, and you can actually get 20 strips out of this. And so that's how many I did for that. So there was 20 of each color. So you kind of know how long you'll want. If you use the shoelaces, you'll want probably, probably three materials if you're not adding in other things. But right there, as you see, there's two of these in it. All right, so that's one. All right, I'm just gonna cut off two to once more show examples. And I definitely think it's more fun to have multiple colors, multiple kind of um, materials, fabrics and stuff, because it gives it a lot more dimension. All right, so there we go. We unfold it. It's a nice long piece. All right. And so I'm going to show you guys quickly how I tied these on. And so that's really, really like the, the basics to doing anything of this customized, right? So we're going to go like this. Make sure once more. If you can't see that, you swipe the comments to the right, okay? Because I want to make sure that you guys can definitely see this. So what I'm gonna do is keep it in half, right? And so if you guys see, I've got my fingers here, so two fingers in here, okay? At the top, just holding it with my, my other hand at the bottom. Put it on either side of the string, so the string's in the middle, okay? And we're just gonna put those two fingers that we're holding it underneath that string, okay? And, sorry, I'm getting all clumsy now. <laughs> All right, and then we're gonna pull the bottom ones. So the string will be right across there. It'd probably be better if I had something hard to be able to show you guys. You know what, there's a pencil here, okay? So we go like this, pretend that's our string. We're gonna go those two fingers that are up here. They're gonna go around the strings at the bottom. All right, so we got our loop still there. Gonna pull those two strings through our loop and we got a beautiful tie. All right, so that's what you're gonna do over and over again to add these things on. So super easy, you can do any materials. Once more, most of my examples are just ones that are gonna be super affordable from the dollar store. Okay, so I'm gonna do that same thing, but I'm gonna do it here on my string. Okay, so we did that tie, do the pull through, and it does get a little bit more finicky with the material, as you see. So make sure you pull that string nice and tight and then pull your tie tight, okay? And if it goes down, just go ahead and pull it straight again. Okay, all right, so that's what we're doing here and I'll give a little bit of space and do another one. I wasn't planning on doing a full another one, but I'm looking at those black laces and thinking I might have a lot of fun doing another one. All right, so we're just gonna go again, do another tie, two fingers, pull through. I'm gonna pull it tight like that. All right, so there you go. Super, super basic to get that going on there. And once more to, to tell you a bit more what I did with this one, I do have a bit of lace from the dollar store and it's just in the ribbon area with the fabrics. I also have the bit of tulle and as you can see, it really did not go far, the tulle from there. So this one is the same thing as this, you know, it was nice and long. Um, for the other ones, I actually ended up running out. So I just did a regular tie. And so that's why it's sticking out a bit, if you guys can see that up there. And so that one was a little bit different, but it was nice to get some sparkles and different fabrics in there, which is fun. And this is probably dry enough that I can show you what I did with this. All right, and so it comes, like I said, with the, uh, the strings in it. We're just gonna go like this. All right, so this is what I did for these ones. So then they were hanging a little lower. And so you can use any kind of string if you want it even lower, you know, not a big deal. And I just did a basic square knot. So we just do, you know, starting 
for tying your shoelaces, right? Just a basic tie and then do that again and just make sure that it was over the string. So, all right, just like that. And if you do end up doing this and now you wanna put it on, it will be a handful, but then you'll have to pull all those fabrics through to be able to get it and you'll still be able to add it on afterwards. Super simple. And like a, like you guys can see from my example, you can spread things out more, you can gather them up together more, have it nice and sparse. These ones, I just tied right with the string, just so it was right up there. And then I actually did add a little bit of, of Mod Podge on there, so then they would stick in those places better. So super basics. Um, I feel like I wanted to show you one more thing, but I think I think that might be it. All right, you guys, so that's it. I mean, super basic, super pretty, super easy. Anybody can do it. Add some spice to your Valentine's decoration, or if you don't have any where I literally didn't have any, so I thought that this was a nice thing for my kids to come home to and be excited about what's coming. All right, you guys, I hope you guys are all having a wonderful Tuesday. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to share it, or you can even add me as a friend, or follow me here on Facebook if you'd like to see more videos, and hopefully we'll see you all soon. Bye, you guys, have a good day.